with your lightsaber back with another video guys we're going to talk about the death of luna what they're calling the death of luna is luna dead or is luna uh, back to life um which we'll go into in a minute um also just wanted to talk about you know the sentiment in the market lately you know throughout the past week okay it hasn't been great all right guys people are talking about the market crash i've got people that wouldn't normally talk about crypto people like my wife talking to her friends, female friends, and they're saying, oh, I heard the market crash. They don't know, know anything about crypto, but everyone's talking about it. So I'm explaining to my wife, well, you know, what happened is there's a coin called Luna, and Luna crash. Was I in Luna when it crashed? No, I wasn't. Have I made money from Luna in the past? Have I traded it before? Have I invested in it before? Yes, um, and, and so on. All right, guys, so I've been explaining the whole situation to people like my wife. Uh, people are talking about Coinbase and bankruptcy and can you lose your funds and all this sort of stuff that people that are none the wiser don't know anything about crypto. They're seeing all the FUD and they're bringing it to my attention, you know, because clearly they know that I'm in crypto. Maybe there's some concern about the, the market as a whole. Should they get into crypto? Uh, they've been hearing this and that. And all it says to me is that somebody somewhere is trying to drive these prices down when it comes to that stuff but then you get luna okay uh, uh, okay and luna's obviously crashed okay uh now what you have to understand or what people have to understand um is that in every market crash there's going to be somebody somewhere making a profit or profiting from that misery okay guys um fortunately for me i've been able to profit from the misery okay they say buy when there's blood in the streets but what happens is when there's blood in the streets people don't really want to buy because uh what happens is everybody gets afraid okay the fear and greed index is down to nine um i saw on somebody's video i haven't checked myself but you know it's not something i check regularly uh, these days i used to you know continuously be looking at that sort of stuff in the past when i was doing a lot more trading okay guys um, but my new strategy what i've been doing is i've been doing a lot of DeFi and just focusing mainly on passive income taking the money that I've, and putting it into passive income uh, you know kind of committing to you know if i'm going to hold something most of what uh, most of what i will be holding it will be um, paying me a passive income obviously uh, i do have some other you know holds some other tokens uh, vesting schedules and you know lock up stakes and, and so on all right guys but Mainly, my main focus is to buy things that are paying me a passive income. So was I in Luna? No. Um, I was looking to get into the Terra Luna ecosystem, into Anchor, and get some 20% yield on stable coins, especially throughout the bear market. And that dream has been stolen away from me. I'm not going to get that 19.5%. Okay, guys. Um, although in DeFi, that is considered, you know, um, it's considered, uh, you know, not too high risk, you know. 19.5% uh, APR for the whole year when we're earning like 1% a day, 3% a day, 1.5%, um, 2% on several different DeFi projects that we're in, DGen DeFi projects, okay? But, you know, you, it's good to play it safe. I had capital aside, um, you know, um, in stable coin yields and so on, okay, guys? And um, now, um, yeah, I'm thinking, where can I put some of that money? Okay, um, you know, where's the best place to get a yield on some of those things in terms of stable coin yields? Okay, um, but on another subject, right? Um, the fact that I've got, had stable coins, right? I've been able to profit from Luna, okay? Now, unfortunately for me, I didn't get in down here and sell it up here, okay, guys? I didn't actually know that it had been listed back on Binance and that you could buy it on PancakeSwap at the time. But if you, let's just get rid of this. Let's just get rid of uh this okay but if you look at this chart right this is zoomed in zoomed way in on the 15 minute chart because the truth is um when you go on the chart you will not be able to see this when you first go on the chart you got to zoom all the way in okay just to get uh, to find out what's been happening here because for those of you that don't know right binance decided to remove luna from um from uh, the, the from trading the trading pairs um it started with margin and then it removed it altogether okay uh, their reason being is that luna had minted you know loads of tokens and they were, i think they were using it to keep the peg or to try and keep the peg on ust or whatever and uh, obviously that wasn't working and um, they tried to reach out to luna they didn't get much of a response so they decided to hold trading to protect the users on Binance, okay? Um, obviously, several other exchanges did this as well. I've been getting emails from people like Abra, uh, you know, saying they're delisting Luna and so on. Um, but yeah, 
Binance decided just about three hours later to relist the thing. Okay, now, when Luna first dipped, right, I bought Luna. I decided, you know what, I'm going to buy some Luna. Well, like, you know, this is the market crash that, you know, people have been waiting for, Black Swan event and so on. I bought some Luna around 3 50 or three dollars between three dollars and four dollars okay guys and what happened is i got absolutely wrecked okay within a few hours the thing just kept falling i was thinking you know surely this is going to bounce at some point um i actually caught it after it had already bounced from 69 cents approximately uh around 68 69 cents it bounced up to about five dollars seven dollars or something like that so i was you know jumping in and getting a position around those times i realized that that was pretty much a bad idea once i lost probably 75 percent of what i invested at that time i decided to cut and run at that time okay guys i went to sleep i woke up the following morning luna was all the way down to two cents crazy right so i thought surely right surely this has got to be the bottom for Luna. I know there's lots of FUD uh, about it, but Luna is a, you know, it was a top, was it a top 10 crypto? Top 20 at least, right? Top 10, I believe it was, right? 40 billion market cap, down all the way under a billion in market cap. I thought, you know what? This thing is going to do something, right, guys? So again, I decided to buy some more Luna. And then what happened is Binance delisted it. By the time Binance listed it again, the investment that I made was near enough literally nothing okay i had a dollar in luna and i thought wow that's crazy okay but the crazy person that i am i bought luna again and this time i managed to make everything that i put into luna uh, back and more than some okay guys so i've made a lot of money over this last couple of days trading luna if we look at some of my trading history you will see over the past uh 24 hours um, or over the past couple of, well, let's just go over the past 24 hours. You can see all of these trades, right? I've been in and out, in and out, in and out, okay? I didn't just buy it. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, actually, because my head might be in the way, okay? But, you know, I've got, uh, let's see, can I move this screen up? Uh, what I could do is I could move myself out of the way temporarily. Let's just move myself out of the way, okay? So you can see all of these trades down here, okay? buying and selling buying and selling in and out in and out in and out okay guys loads of trades i've been trading my my days away okay guys but you know i've been making a lot of profit in doing so you might ask why didn't i just buy it and hold it i mean it's just too risky right it's too risky um by the time i got into it i think we were around this area over here i was buying it okay just trading the volatility right if you look at this you know if you watch luna on the 15 minute chart, the five minute chart, those lower time frames. I don't use the five minute chart. I'm a 15 minute guy, all right, guys? But um, yeah, the volatility is just crazy, right? If I would have just bought it and held it, I would have made a lot. Now, if we do a measured move, right? Um, you can see this done approximately about 15,000%, if that is correct, okay? Sometimes these measurements come up a little bit different, but you catch my drift, right? It's gone up a heck of a lot. Since anyone that bought in down here is just made loads of money if they've just held it all the way, right? I don't have balls like that. Okay, guys, for me, it was pretty risky. Okay, so I decided to, you know, scalp, 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 scalp trade, okay? I wasn't swing trading, I was scalp trading. I did one swing trade, which is where I made the most, okay? I took a risk and that paid off, okay? I actually got out over here and then went in the shower. And by the time I come out of the shower, it just shot up another 70 percent or so and i just felt like i just missed out on a huge profit okay although i made a profit it always feels like you made a loss when there's a profit that you didn't get that you missed out on okay guys but you know lo and behold it came down after that okay i wouldn't want to have held through that if you look at this dip right here we're looking at approximately 59 percent drawdown okay and then it came back up okay guys so i've been trading the volatility i'm taking it very easy right now because you have to quit while you're ahead sometimes, okay? Because uh, you can just as easily get wrecked. All right, guys. But, um, yeah, I've made profit from the misery in the market, okay? And um, there's a way to do it and there's a way not to do it. You know, the way that I did it is a good way. Maybe a better way would have just been buying it and holding it, okay, uh, for some. But it's, it's safety first in this uncertain market right now. Uh, the uncertainty around Luna... Um, you know, do I think that Luna is dead? 
Um, right, so the thing with Luna, okay, the thing with Luna is that Luna um, is an algorithmic or, or UST is an algorithmically backed stablecoin, which is supposed to be backed by Luna, okay, guys? Now, when they're minting Luna, infinite amounts of Luna, okay, it really doesn't back up any peg to uh, UST. Doquan came out, uh, the founder, and he's, he, he, he revealed his hand, okay? Um, he expressed that he had about 10 billion in Bitcoin ready to back the peg of UST. He's been making bets against people as to, as to whether the peg would be, uh, whether UST would still be pegged by 2023, sometime in 2023. He's clearly lost that bet at the moment, unless it comes roaring back, okay? Um, if we look at the price of UST, UST, which is, remember, this is supposed to be a stable coin, right? UST is down to 18 cents. This should be a dollar, 99 cents at worst, 99.9 cents at worst, guys. It's all the way down to 18 cents. So people have been getting wrecked left, right and center. A lot of people are not happy. A lot of people have lost money. Uh, a lot of people still believe in the project. Okay, so going back to the question, is Luna dead? Um, so Luna is not just an algorithmically backed stablecoin it is also a layer one blockchain okay it is a layer one it's not a layer two it's a layer one right and many projects a, have been built on luna there's a whole ecosystem okay and um you know there's there's still going to be some sort of value in this particular project okay now whether people trust it or not that is that's what um do Kwan, uh the uh, Terra foundation uh, that, that's what they have to build now is people's trust, okay? It's going to take a while, okay? You're not going to see any type of V-shaped recovery, all right? This is nothing. This is just a blip, a, a, you know, a glitch in the matrix. This is a drop in the ocean in comparison to where the price was, okay? If you look at uh, Luna, right, the before the crash, right, the price was all the way up at, well, it was all the way up at, around 80 around 77 dollars okay it reached all-time highs of 119 dollars it says 116 there going by binance will be 119 dollars and this is basically just the worst crash that we've ever seen in crypto at any one time in the shortest space of time okay guys literally took a couple of days for this to more or less go to zero okay so in 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 is luna dead it practically is dead can it come back to life or is it coming back to life well that's where the speculation is right now and people have been making money on that speculation i think it's super high risk to be holding luna to be trading luna you can literally get millions of luna right now for fractions a very small amount of money okay if you put a hundred dollars into luna let's just have a look okay a hundred dollars into luna right now at the price that it is right now will get you I suppose a hundred dollars worth of Luna will get you two hundred and sixty-six thousand Luna. So to get a million Luna, you probably need about four hundred dollars. Yeah, about four hundred dollars will get you one million Luna at the time, and that will make you a Luna whale. If you had one million Luna a couple of weeks ago, you would be rich. All right, guys. But yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things where. Everyone's talking about it. This is my take on it. Everyone's talking about it. And, um, you know, what's going to happen? Nobody really knows. Okay, so it's not the time to be listening to every influencer saying you buy Luna, hold some Luna. Okay, it's just that time to decide to yourself, you know, is it worth taking a risk for me? Okay, is it worth holding some of this for the long term? Going back to the fact that there's been 64 trillion or so tokens be, be minted this this kind of makes it like a shiba inu type of coin right it's going to make it attractive to a lot of people okay they can get millions of luna or a million luna a million plus for four hundred dollars that's going to make it attractive to a lot of people because you know some people they just they look at the amount of tokens that they can get for how much and that's how they invest if you said to them you can get 10 luna for seven hundred dollars and seven hundred and seventy dollars they might have thought now nah, forget luna you know, let me go and buy something smaller like Shiba Inu because I can get millions of coins for a smaller amount, okay? Uh, but, yeah, right now you can get loads of Luna. However, the founder has come up with a solution which a lot of people probably won't be happy about because uh, let's just go through what 
Do Kwon said. So this was 20 hours ago, bearing that in mind. So anyone watching this and that's been following up on all of this, you probably already know what it says, okay? You probably heard it from another influencer, another 10 influencers. You probably read it yourself on Twitter, uh, okay? You've probably, you know, seen it, read it, or, or, you know, heard it somewhere on social media, okay? But let's just uh, have a look for the sake of those that haven't, right? So Do Kwon, the founder of Luna, he said, I've spent the last few days on the phone calling the terror community members builders community members employees friends and family that have been devastated by ust depegging i'm heartbroken about the pain my invention has brought on all of you there are multiple proposals on agora on the best steps to move forward for the community after having read many of them i put down my thoughts of what i think the best steps are what we should look to preserve now is the community and developers that make Terra's block space valuable. I'm sure our community will form consensus around the best path forward for itself and find a way to rise again. Okay, guys. So what he's basically saying is they're going to prioritize uh, the builders. Okay, the builders uh, first. Okay, community members, employees, friends and family. Okay, guys. And um, uh, sorry, am I getting that right? Um, um, right, sorry, no, we're looking here. So he's going to prioritize uh, uh, the developers, okay? Uh, the community and the developers, those who make Terra's block space valuable, okay? And, and uh, w what I've read is that they're going to bring the supply down potentially to a billion tokens, okay? I'm not sure how they're going to do that. Are they going to create a version 2? Are they going to burn lots of t lots and lots of tokens? Are they come up with a, going to come up with a solution where the tokens can burn or you know uh, the, the supply can come down over time? I don't know. That hasn't been explained. So when you're looking at getting you know a million Luna for four hundred dollars, that may not be the case for very long. Okay, guys, and there may be a token swap. There may be a migration. There may be something. Okay. Um, which is going to change the tokenomics of this and seeing as seeing as we don't know how uh, we don't know uh, well sorry i'm sure we do know so it's going to be a billion tokens it's going to give four hundred thousand to developers uh four hundred thousand will go between um um uh, ust holders or something like that and you know the rest will be divided throughout the community and so on okay guys but the tokenomics are going to change so um you know we don't know how that's going to be done and we don't know what kind of effect that's also going to have on the on the the terror blockchain okay so is it dead um i don't know okay that's the real <laughs> that's the real answer i do not know um what we're seeing in the market will suggest that there's life in it still okay um this pump is by no means a small pump you know if this was ordinary circumstances everybody and their grandma would be talking about this pump here this pump right here guys life-changing gains could have been could have been made right here life-changing gains have been lost with the crash on luna i don't want to zoom out guys i don't want to in fact let's just open another page okay because um you know this is i'm gonna have to zoom all the way in just to uh get get the, the uh, my chart up again if i zoom out for you guys so i'm just going to show you uh, what we're seeing on here uh, when you get onto there right luna busd Okay, so when you first get on here, it's going to look like this. Okay, everything that I just showed you looks exactly like this, right? You can see that volume there, right? Completely identical to this volume here. Okay, guys, but the larger scale, if we go on a one day chart, okay, that's what Luna looks like when you get to the chart. Okay, guys, so just for the sake of showing you, if you are trying to view the chart on Binance, there's plenty of other places you can view it. Okay, but you're going to go like that and you're just going to keep zooming out. Okay, guys, until you can make out some form of a chart on this thing so that you can scalp trade it if that's what you want to do. I'm not recommending you do, that you do that. I'm not using leverage. I'm just using a large amount of money to scalp this thing. Okay, guys, we're doing $30,000 trades. Okay, guys, and I'm making a lot of money doing it. Okay, guys. Um, but, yeah, I don't recommend that you do that. You know, I take my own risks and, um, you know, I calculate my own risk to reward ratio there's a huge chance that you could lose money doing this okay guys so that being said this is no longer a ta channel this is not a trading channel this is how the channel started we do other things on the channel now but yeah that's what i've been doing okay guys so if you do want to take advantage of that just be extra 
careful, okay? But the volatility is just like, it's like a, a brand new token, low market cap token right now. The volume we're seeing, 4.7 billion. That's increased from earlier. It was about 2.5 billion. 4.7 billion volume, guys, in BUSD. That is crazy. That's a lot of volume. That is volatility right here, okay? Down to the downside and to the upside, right? So just be careful. But I just wanted to give you guys my take on Luna, okay? Do I think it's dead? Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Do I think it's alive? Uh, this would suggest that there's life in it still. But this is not an accurate picture of whether this is a long-term hold or not right now. Um, we need to wait. and We need to wait, be patient, find out what's going on with this thing. But it wouldn't hurt for you to hold some of it if that's what you want to do. At the end of the day, there is no right or wrong way in this case, I would say, um, in regards to Luna. Okay, guys. Uh, the only other thing that I would say is that Bitcoin did fall below uh, uh, 30k, right? So people are speculating as to whether we are going into a, uh, a short to mid-term or long-term bear market, multi-year bear market, okay? Now, the only other thing that I would say is that if Luna didn't fall, Bitcoin probably wouldn't have fell this hard as well. We probably still would have been up here somewhere, okay, guys? So is it possible that we could get a V-shaped recovery from Bitcoin. Another friend called me, all right guys, he's a trader as well and very uh, well versed in his charts and stuff like that. He spoke to me about the DXY, which I haven't looked at in a time. The DXY with the US dollar index, okay, that is uh, uh, going to the upside at the moment, okay? So uh, that's another thing. Or it might pull back, it might be pulling back now. But the DXY, uh, the dollar, if the dollar's going up in value, we'll probably see the crypto market come down in value and vice versa. If the dollar decides to fall down, um, we could be seeing um, a uh, some uh, Bitcoin and the altcoins have a nice little rally for a little bit, okay, potentially, okay, but will that just be a relief rally, because the way it looks, according to my friend, is that uh, we could be in a, um, uh, we could be in, uh, we could see the dollar begin to rise for the next, you know, between the next one and two years, okay, and that wouldn't be, uh, that, that would indicate that we were going into a multi-year bear market, potentially, in crypto, okay, guys, so just wanted to put that out there, all right, you'd never know what can happen in these markets, and um, we could just see, you know, bullish news come into the space, and all of this could have just been smoke and mirrors, we don't know, this is definitely not smoke and mirrors with Luna, I mean, you can't, you know, you can't, you can't fake that, right, you can't, um, all right, that, that definitely happened, okay, whether it was an attack or not, I'm not going to get into that, you guys know the stories, but yeah, I just wanted to give you my take on the market, a little brief update about how I feel about Luna, some of you have asked me in the Telegram group, okay, guys, so let me know in the comments what you guys think, you know, um, what do you think, is Luna dead, can it come back, is it alive, okay, guys, is it worth holding on to, um, let me know what you think in the comments. I really appreciate all of you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. I will definitely be coming with more content. We'll definitely be coming with more strategies. Um, you know, I believe that DeFi is, is going to be the place to be. We want to make yield on our on our on our um, the, uh, stable coins. We want to make yield on the crypto that we are holding to hedge against any downside in the bear market. So when it comes roaring back, we've got more coins, more tokens, and that just means more. Crip, uh, more money okay guys so like comment and subscribe to the little bell for notifications i'll see you guys in the very next video